Oh um, man, all right, guys. All right, <laughs> Cowboys fans, you you guys gotta let me know how you guys feel about it. I, this. This was. <laughs> you can't make this game up, man. I mean, this was. This was this was horrible. If you are a Dallas Cowboys fan, now for the for the for the Washington Football Team, huge win for them because now they're on top of the division. Who would have thought the, that the Washington Football Team was going to be on top of this division from the beginning of the season? But because how horrible this damn division is, this was a fight for the division crown right now, and the Washington Football Team dominate the Dallas Cowboys, forty-one to sixteen. I I don't know where to begin. Uh, it was a, oh, sorry, just bit on my tongue. It was a close game in the first half, guys. Um, what was it, 20 to 16? Um, both teams, I felt, well, the Cowboys, I felt, were really efficient. Andy Dalton was like 12 to 15 for like 120 some yards in the first half. Amari Cooper got it going. He ca he was just cooking Darby all day long, especially on the goal route for the touchdown. Um, they ran the ball okay with Ezekiel Elliott and those guys in the first half. The Cowboys dealt with a lot of injuries. Zach Martin was gone. They lost Irving. Gregory got hurt, but I think he came back and played. Had a couple of sacks in this football game. But the Cowboys were just decimated with injuries in this football game. And, you know, especially when you lose your best player, arguably your best player in Zach Martin, that, that is a, that's a huge loss. So that's where it all it, everything just went to hell as soon as that happened. But the Cowboys, they remained strong. Uh, defensively, I felt like the front was definitely getting pressure on the quarterback. You know, Dexter Lawrence was getting, I mean, not Dexter Lawrence, Demarcus Lawrence was getting pressure all day long. Uh, again, Randy Gregory was getting pressure. I felt like the interior rush was pretty solid for them for the most part in the first half. Uh, Jalen Smith, I felt like had a pretty good game for the most part. Almost had a pick six. Um, you know, Leighton Van Der Esch, I felt pretty, played pretty well too in the first. I mean, the Cowboys, I felt like just played well. I felt like this was just a close competitive game. Two rivals competing for the divisional crown the first half. Um, but then you go into the second half. <laughs> then you went into the second half, and it was just it was just a, a completely different animal. Nothing went right for the Cowboys at all in the second half. I mean, nothing went right. The coaching was off. The, uh, uh, the adjustments weren't there. The offensive line was getting their ass handed to them. Uh, by, by this Washington football team front. The Cowboys defensive front were just tired. They were just exhausted pretty much in the second half. Nothing went right for the Cowboys at all. And then you look at the fourth thing. You look at the fourth and one situation. And they tried to go for a fake punt. They tried to go for a fake punt. A re, a, a, what was it? A end around. They tried to do like a little reverse end around. And they ended up losing like what? Three, four yards in the play? They did not have any faith at all in Ezekiel Elliott to get that damn football. To get and run that football in fourth and one. They did not have any confidence at all in Ezekiel Elliott. They did it. They did. They tried to do a, a, put a fake butt around. And it it ever it just went to hell. Montez sweat towards the end of the game, had a pick six. Antonio Gibson, who was tearing the Cowboys up all game long, had three touchdowns in this game. The first to do that against the Cowboys. Since Randy Moss back in 1998. And by the way, Moss was also a rookie. Gibson's a rookie. It's just, it's a, th this was just amazing to me. When the Cowboys finally had those expectations. When, when people were starting to actually believe that, hey, if they beat the, if they beat, I was about to say, I'm not going to say the word. If they beat the Washington football team, they were going to be on top of the, of the division. Cowboys fans, after just losing all hope, finally, the last three to four games, they played pretty well, especially on the defensive front of the ball. And they finally had hope in this game, and everything just went to shit. Oh, I feel, you know what? Normally, I would make fun of Cowboys fans, but I'm not doing that. I can't, I feel bad for Cowboys fans because it's not their fault that they have all this hope. Now, is it their fault that they're one of the most cockiest fan bases in America? Yes, it's their, it's their fault. But when it particularly comes down to the Dallas Cowboys, when, but when it comes to the, for, the, uh, for Cowboys fans, that they've been giving all these expectations, they've been giving all this hope by this football team, it's not their fault. 
their fan base at the end of the day, and they have to sit and th at Thanksgiving for the past three years and had to deal with ass whooping after ass whooping after ass whooping the past three Thanksgivings. I feel bad for the Cowboys fans. They their their Thanksgiving is ruined, and I know that a lot of these Cowboys fans are probably you know they're out, they're out here they're uh, they're out here trying to hunt for their PlayStation Five and their Xbox Series X, and you know damn well that a lot of them didn't get it. So you know they needed something. To make their day, they couldn't really enjoy spending time with their with, with, with a lot of their family members because of this this COVID situation. Something needed to go right for these Cowboys fans, and nope, forty one to sixteen, forty one to sixteen. But you know what? I'm now thinking about the fourth and go. I'm now thinking about that fourth and one. Ezekiel Elliott fumbled. I don't know if they I, they just lost faith in, in Ezekiel Elliott. He fumbled. He fumbled. He, you know, Mr. Butterfingers himself. I don't know, guys. This was just a horrible situation for the Dallas Cowboys. For the Washington football team, they are now on top of the damn division. Antonio Gibson, who's played well for them all year round, stepped up huge with three touchdowns. And by the way, I didn't even mention Barber. I didn't even. Their running backs averaged 5.5 yards per carry against this Cowboys unit with Barber and uh, with Gibson. Man, this was. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. But anyway, guys, if you guys, Cowboys fans, Washington fans, if you guys got anything to say in the comment section, you guys can you, you have at it, rant, cuss, you guys can go at it, um, especially you Cowboys fans. I'll be right there responding to your comments. I will always be right there listening to you guys. I, I'm with you. I'm with you guys today. So anyway, guys, Jan Subway 6, aka Jan Sports. If you guys like to, if you guys like this particular video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, especially if you like more NFL weekly content and covering your team, covering your favorite teams. I'll be there to do that. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, have a good Thanksgiving. If you guys haven't eaten yet, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy your meals, especially you know because we're it is nighttime, so enjoy your meals. Have a have a great Thanksgiving, and I'm out. Peace.